What's going on everybody? This is Steve with the Mr. Big Kid channel. You know what we got today? That's right. Well, I went ahead, went on Wish again, and I've got another armor plate. So this one is the thickened version of the last armor plate I got. It's a trapezoid cut. So I think, I mean, I'm hoping it'll handle a little more, but what we're gonna shoot with it today is the 22 long rifle. Number two, we're gonna be using the nine millimeter full metal jacket, 115 grain. Then we're gonna shoot with some fun stuff. I have a 7.62 PSA Palmetto State Armory KS47 pistol. I haven't fired it yet. I actually forgot sights and optics for it, so that'll be interesting. We're gonna shoot it with the, the uh, Ruger Alaskan 454 Kazool, and then the Desert Eagle 50 Action Express 50 Cal AE. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here because this is where I'm gonna want it to be when I shoot. Hold on. Hello? Yeah. Well, no, it's it's the armor plate. It's it's like an IJ3A. So it should be fine. Well fine. Fine, I'll put it on the mannequin. Alright. Okay, love you bye. I'm gonna go ahead and put this vest on Bala. Let's, let's go say hi to her real quick. You guys haven't seen her in a couple of months, so. You are looking good, assistant. So her name is Bala. Um, thank you, AOG, for the name. So, yep. Bala is bullet in Spanish. So she wears a, uh, well, I guess, let me put on my clothes, yeah. So, anyways, she'll be wearing this vest right here. This vest is also from Wish, but I like this one. It kind of reminds me of like one of those, you know, hostage vests that you see in like the, the action movies or whatever. So, enough talking. Let's get to shooting because that's what you guys are here for. First up, 22 long rifle. So the first gun we have is the Walther P22. These are your standard long rifle 22 long. These are your standard 22 long rifle bulk pack ammunition. Three shots. Let's check it out. We're three times. Let's see what it did here. Nothing. All you see is the uh, that's pretty much shredded up. Looks like it did a pretty good job stopping the spatter, but you have no penetration. So we are gonna go to nine millimeters. All right, next we're gonna shoot it with the Ruger P10C. Uh, this has the rugged obsidian 45 suppressor on it and we're hitting it with some standard 115 grain full metal jackets. Three more hits, let's check it out. All right, nine millimeters a little more devastating than a 22, so let's see what these did. There we go. All right, nine millimeter looks like I hit it right on the edge here. We have no penetration. It looks like it did start warping the plate. It looks like most of the fragments were caught by this material right here. So next we're gonna go with the 454 Kazool try to go right for the center. So this is your standard 250 grain Hornady XTP 454 Kazool fired out of the Ruger Alaskan. Here we go. You can feel that one. Let's check it out. All right, so that is our 454 bullet hole. Okay. That is our impact. That's the Ruger 454 Kazool. And good lord, it did not make it through. So 454, it is a hollow point. So, I mean, that's probably part of it, but the 454 did not make it through. Let's try the Desert Eagle 50 AE. This is the Desert Eagle. This is a 50 AE Action Express 300 grain XTP. 
Desert Eagle Mark 19. Let's do it. Let's see what we got. All right, 50 AE. All right, Desert Eagle, hit it on the bottom right there. It did not go through. So this thing stops the 454 Kazool and the Desert Eagle 300 grain and the 250 grain. Of course, they are both hollow points. So let's let's ha let's hit it with a bunch of the 762 by 39 out of the Palmetto State Armory KS47. We have the Palmetto State Armory KS47 pistol. This thing is pretty awesome looking if you if you ask me. Gets nice and short, awesome arm brace. Anyways, we're shooting the 7.62 by 39 full metal jacket, Fiaki ammunition. Fiaki, Fiaki, whatever. Here we go. Really? Really? All right, let's see what we got. All his feet kind of fell down. All right, 7.62 by 39. I think we see where I hit it. Yep, it is not bulletproof against it is not bulletproof against the 7.62 by 39. But in all fairness, it is not rated to be. It's not bad. Thirty dollar plate stopped up to a 50 Action Express from a Desert Eagle, and a 454 Kazool. Thanks for your help, Bala.